You see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. First down. First and ten, Young. Short little throw to Ebron. Again, it's Young. And this is... Jackson, option. not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really. What's up, gamers? Welcome to another Madden 20 live gameplay. This is my 35 out of 40 Lions theme team. So, you can see we got all the backups. We did make two upgrades to the squad. We got Steve Young with the glitchy escape artist. We got Barry Sanders, not the fully powered up Barry Sanders, but I should have him by this weekend. And then we just got a lot of Lions cams. We got Odell Beckham right here, Herman Moore up to a 94 overall, Marvin Jones, and Kenny Galladay. The Lions can't win the game, so I can't get him boosted up like I need it. Right here, we got Eric Ebron. TJ Hawkinson is still waiting on his upgrade in the next week. And then we got Jesse James. We don't have the best offensive line for Lions players, so I got to sub in other people in certain positions, but we do have a lot of Lions backup. On the defensive side of the ball, we went and picked up Big Dick Lane. 97 overall, Darius Slay is holding down the slot position. We got Deion Sanders not fully powered up yet. Our Kelvin Johnson is not fully powered up yet either, so I might pull them out of the Redux pack. You can see I am 69 level. Real close to 70 overall where I can get that pack. We got Nadama Sue, Damon Harrison. I powered down. I had him all the way to a 92 overall. He didn't really make plays. So instead, I go with Ed Tutal Jones, Nadama Sue, and Lawrence Taylor. And then I use the Marcus Lawrence and Nadama Sue right here in this area. I would drop Lawrence Taylor down. We got Ty Law. We got Pat Tillman. Jamal Adams is not fully powered up. But like I said... All you need is three beasts on the offensive side of the ball and three beasts on the defensive side of the ball. If y'all enjoy these type of videos, make sure you drop a like, man. I want to do this more often, try to get early morning gameplays out. My full offensive scheme, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, will be going live this week. I got two formations down peck. Once I get a third formation in order to be able to just fully beat every coverage possible in the game, I will release it to all my Patreons and the eBookers. So we are going against 95 Dickerson, 94 Michael Irvin, and 94 Dockett. And you can see my top three right there. It looks like he has all of them people activated. So that's going to be who we have to watch out for. So he's running cover three. It looks like he tries to change it. So we got to make sure we got our blocks. Cover three beater right here. Set up. Stay in this pocket. I didn't get enough time. You can see that B route was going to get open down there. But I would have had to roll out to the left. So we're going to try one more time. Because he's definitely running cover three. I could have got him uh, over the top right there. He probably realized that. So we're going to try to switch it up one more time. It's three different ways that I can beat cover three, three different ways I can beat cover two. It's all dependent on the hash mark and all them breakdowns will be coming to y'all. So right now he's trying to give me a, a fake man coverage. So we over the top right there. We need a good pass, possession catch. Let's go, easy dot, two for three. We're going to keep on staying in this. He went into a different cover three package, and I have all the setups, man. If y'all want these setups, make sure y'all let me know. We're going to let him get adjusted. We want to make sure that we can get 
everything like it's supposed to be. So we're gonna take that route right there. It's too many different things on this offense. So this is what people do a lot of times. A lot of times people start, uh, stop holding defense. And that looks like man coverage right there. So we're gonna put a whole bunch of underneath routes. Just take our yards if he blitz off that edge like he does. We can hurry up and throw that to the inside. And y'all can see, they gonna have to drop eight. They gonna have to drop nine. And that's what people usually do. He's making adjustments. He's going into a cover two now. So let's see if we can get some blocks. Look like he's on the D line. There's a hole getting that end zone. And we go up seven to zero. Perfect offense execution, making all the reads between the cover three, the cover two, and the man coverage. It's two things that I do. If it's a run, I go into auto flip. If it's a pass, like he's doing right now, I take auto flip off. So that's something that you need to keep in the back of your mind. Now we're gonna make our changes right here. So we're gonna set our defense up. Might be a run, we wanna shoot this gap. So we're gonna man him up over there because he might uh, actually streak. So it is a run, he cuts back and he should've got a big hit right there. He missed the big hit, but we was all over it. We're gonna man him up on this side. He can go underneath all day. Oh, that's pick. That's pick, baby. That's pick. Don't worry about that left side. You reading cover two, but I got the best defense. Oh, my opponent pulls the cord. If y'all enjoyed it, go ahead, drop a like right now. We are currently five and oh. I hope the video wasn't too long. My opponent pulled the cord. I want to get back on the offensive side one more time. But the next video, I hope, is a little bit longer so you can see more of my defensive mindset. Let's go. Now on second and 13, Luck eluding the pressure right. Into a double team and it's intercepted.